Hi, I am the developer of the game Northern Journey, who recently released on Steam. See the link below. In this video I will show you how I made enemies for Northern Journey. The game has over 50 enemies and bosses, so this was only possible because I made them in an efficient way. We begin where all things do in indie games, with Blender. I have already started subdividing a cube with the mirror modifier enabled. At first I only tried to get a very rough shape. As you see, I make seams for UV early and UV the parts of the mesh while they still have an easy shape. What I do is ordinary extrude and subdivide. I found this to be the fastest way with the least possible number of vertices, even though that is not an important consideration today. We have the UV map laid out. Efficient use of the UV map is good practice. Next I want to texture paint it. We find some textures that seem like they fit and use them to paint. And I also smooth the faces of the mesh so it looks less squarish. Painting is usually quite fun to do, although I do not spend too much time doing it. This looks kind of cool. Save the texture to an image file. Next we want it to move. Therefore we need to add a skeleton, or armature as it's called in Blender. Use a bone everywhere you need to bend something. Parent the mesh to the skeleton, and now the bones will control and deform the mesh. Then it is animation time. I only need two animations. First I create the walk cycle. When this is ok, I create an attack animation. The attack need to start and return from the walking position, so they can be played in sequence and fit together. I use no blend space. The animation is chopped into the two bits and the whole enemy is exported as an FBX file. In Unreal we rename the animations and create the material. Now the spider looks like it did in Blender. We will create a blueprint actor. First make a sphere collision. This is the actual thing interacting with the environment. Then we add a skeletal mesh and select our spider. When we play it, 
we see it only rolls around. We need to add some blueprint nodes to make it move. We will use these nodes, which basically find the look at directions from itself to the player, and moves it in that direction. We create a float variable named rotation, and this we multiply with delta time. Now it will work on all frame rates the same speed. We add the result to the set world rotation. Next, we create a speed variable. This is also multiplied with delta time. The result is added to the set world location node. Now the spider moves towards us, but it is frozen. Movement is done by creating a loop. We will create a custom event. Then from this we play the animation walking cycle. Notice the duration and set this to a new variable we call timeout. Set timer by event will then trigger our custom event after the timeout value has passed, cycling the whole thing. Remember to trigger the event at event begin. Now the spider walks towards us. Good. We will tweak it a bit by adding some random speed in the play animation speed. And in the spider walking speed. It is very important if you have more than one in your level or else they will walk in unison. Lastly, we want it to attack us within a certain distance. Use the Get Distance node and insert the first person character. Below 3 meters between, this selector branch will go towards our attack animation. This time we will need to check the time in the attack animation. As we see, halfway in, 0.625 seconds, the attack starts. We want the speed to slow down first when it prepares and then to launch out while biting. So we will vary the speed in these two states. This looks good. After some more tweaks, I add more of them in the level. This is a very simple version of how I made the enemies. In this horrible blueprint, you can see how complicated it can get. But rest assured, if you tried to write it in code, it would be probably much worse. It is very easy to modify and expand it. This method is very fast, relatively simple and therefore very suitable for an indie game developer.